today we are doing the Lantern Right Festival, which I'm really excited about. I heard there's some uh, vague, long, beautiful shipping moments. Mwah. So we're going to have a little fun with that. Uh, I'm going to go say hi to Ning Wong first <clears throat> in the Jade Chamber, which is, wow, just really, really above us. Beidou, where are you? Hi, Beidou. great many things are still unaccounted for the new jade chamber is missing many of the contents held by its predecessor the predecessor fell into the ocean so all the literature furniture and ornaments i had collected followed the original jade chamber to its watery grave most of it was destroyed in the process and the small handful of items that survived intact are strewn across the water's surface reclaiming them is taxing work it takes someone with sturdy sea legs to handle this job, but even then, I just can't tell whether Beto will be able to fish out everything herself. <laughs> Wait, so you made Beto go and fish your stuff out of the sea for you? <laughs> to claim that I made her do anything would be imprecise. We reached a mutually beneficial agreement, as is always the case in our dealings. Okay. I just set up a date. Payment is one aspect of it, but I also compensate her in other ways. <laughs> Let's just say it's a little complicated. So y'all going on a date? Is that what you're telling me, Ning Wong? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Oh, please tell me y'all going on a date. <laughs> anyway, Beto is currently in the Guyen Stone Forest area. All right. If you're interested, go pay her a visit. You may be just the help she needs. Oh, I can see the... Oh, let me see. The slender necked aquamarine colored porcelain vase. It has a pristine glossy finish and a clearly... A top of the range item. It does not seem to come up for the official count. Oh, wow. Fancy stuff. On the body, there's some words written in bold strokes. From the crux. <laughs> Wait, what? Did the crux crew just write? Like, did they not just like write on it? Like, here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my god. I was salvaging some of my Jade Chamber collection out of the sea around Guyen Stone Forest. That is so funny. Beidou, let's go. Yo, Jinyan's here too. Let's go. <sighs> Ningguang, you're really trying my patience. I'm sorry, but if the Jade Chamber smashed into smithereens when it hit the sea, then so did everything inside it. Just because I know the ocean doesn't mean I have the power to fish up the past. <laughs> oh, Traveler, what are you doing out this way? Great, you couldn't have picked a better time. The whole fleet's caught up with other things right now, so I'll take all the help I can get. What's Shinyan doing here? Let's go! I even had to rope Shinyan into this. Insert Jojo music, Yaya <laughs> the fighting botanist is mudder. <laughs> yeah, what's the occasion? Did you come all the way out here to do a performance? You bet I did. Nothing official, mind you. Beta wanted to hold a feast on board, and I agreed to come play a couple of tunes. I love that there's like unofficial Crux members like Jin Yan here. It's great. And I know Zhangling, I believe, is also like an unofficial member. She'll go on to the Crux crew once in a while and just start cooking for them. But all that went out the window when someone showed up saying they were one of Ning Wong's secretaries. They called Beta away. Uh, I think it was Bai Wen or Bai Xiao. Uh, well, it was by something. <laughs> anyway, Ning Wong apparently came up with the bright idea of me going out on the sea and salvaging a bunch of her old valuables. She seems pretty willing to shell out for it, too. <sighs> well, at the end of the day, the price was right. So, yeah, we took the work. Huh? Now, if we're going to go trawling for trinkets, we're going to need a smaller vessel. All the available boats have been dispatched already. But by the looks of it, we're still one short. I have my so own boat. Your own vessel, do ya? <laughs> Great, let's take yours then. The more people we have on this job, the better. 
Because the sooner we get this wrapped up, the sooner we can get that feast going and actually enjoy the festival. There we go. So we are having a Lantern's Rite Festival. That's awesome. Yeet. So, this is it? Mm -hmm. This is your boat? It's really, uh, compact. But it works. It's about the right size for sweeping up junk from the water surface. The only thing is, we're packed in like sardines here. There's nowhere to put my guitar. Uh, Shinyan, your axe is getting a little too close for comfort. No, oh, whoops! <laughs> Let me try to move that out of your way. Huh? Um, Shinyan, why does your guitar have blades on it? Self-defense, of course! It shoots fire, too. Uh, oh, uh, but the middle of a big festival probably isn't the best time to give you a demonstration. Also, there's a teeny tiny chance it might set your boat on fire. Oh, that's not a risk worth taking, no matter how small. <sighs> this gal really jazzed up her guitar. Genial, oh my god. Hold up, are those treasure orders? Hmm, we don't usually see these guys out at sea. Could they be here for the same reason? Well, we killed them. <laughs> that was really quick. Why are they headed back to shore? Oh. To reconvene with their posse, I'll bet. Speed it up a notch, traveler. This is a chase now. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Hey, research, how are you doing today? I'll say this much. Um, I am feeling a lot better as well. I mean, my... I'm not guaranteeing my throat's going to be up to snuff in the next 20 minutes, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're gaining on us. We can't give them the slip. Call it Carmen. Who's Carmen? Carmen. What kind of treasure hoarder has a name like that? Hey, Dijon. One that I happen to know pretty well. Didn't think we'd be running into Oh no. Is this Carmen? Is this, is this who we're beating up right now? Yeah, I should have just left Traveler out of here. I forgot to take her off. I remember on one stream I joked and said bought this COVID and then a week later you got COVID. Yeah, that's how, that's how things work sometimes, eh? All right, let's see what's happening. Oh, this is a unique, <clears throat> this is a unique treasure hoarder model. So we might actually see this kind of feature. And hold on, <clears throat> do we see a unique model that isn't just like super buff and fit? Okay. Are you blind? Can't you see this is Captain Beto? <laughs> Captain Beto, it's been a while. Still fighting fit, I see. I guess it has been a while, Carmen. We're looking a little worse for wear. <laughs> Oh, that is savage. Maybe if you did your own dirty work rather than dispatching your minions, you wouldn't be so out of breath right now. Ooh. Shit. Oh. <laughs> How you just Beto? Very amusing. <laughs> Are you just Get serious for a second though? I'm going to be needing all of this. So put everything down, and I won't cause you any more trouble. Of course, of course. Whatever Captain Beto wants. <laughs> you over, people. Drop the goods. Here you are. It's all here. So, uh, we'll take our leave now? Jesus! Wow. He did what we asked without a second thought. <laughs> Couldn't run off quickly enough either. <laughs> oh no, Shin oh, no. Oh my god. Don't waste any more time on them. We've still got salvaging to do. 
Ah, but we should load this stash onto the boat first. Come on, traveler, help me out here. Oh my god, it's so brutal! They, they tore this man a new one! They just destroyed this man's livelihood! Oh man, Carmen, what did you do to Beto? Damn, she turned this man into barbecue. <laughs> what did this... What did he do to Beto to be right, on her, you know... Go. Her shit list? <laughs> I am really curious, actually. But you know, we're actually salvaging things for Ning Guang from the from the old Jade Jade Chamber, which is wild. Um, and this dude apparently tried to steal some of it, and uh, didn't work out well. Hey, there's some things floating on the water. Hmm. Can't quite make out what they are. Let's bring them in and take a look. I'll take the rudder. Traveler, Xinyan, go reel them in. That was so brutal. That hurt. <laughs> I hurt emotionally. Hey, looks like another treasure hoarder raft straight up ahead. But why is it empty? I guess Carmen told all his people to call it off. Smart choice. He knows who he's up against. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yo, what's up, Cooper? How you doing, Max suit. Cooper? What's up? Leave the junk. Take anything and everything of value. I don't need a few of you to load the boat up. Move it! Was this another, like, custom treasure hoarder? Whatever you're about to do, don't. And whatever goods you're holding, they're mine now. I, I just, I love the power poses. Like, Beto just like, all right, guys. I'm here. Shut up. And do as I say. And Trevor's like, and I'm here too. Look at me. <laughs> I know that's like one of Traveler's normal poses, which is to put her fist on her hips. But like, I feel like it's just really funny seeing like, it's, it's like the don't talk to me and my son ever again thing. Where Beidou's like, don't talk to me and Traveler's the son. I just love it. I just love it. It's so good. Oh. Beidou? I don't think that's custom, never mind. Doing here? I might ask you the same question. I mean, uh, what does it look like? You got lucky. Li 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 the ocean. If you see anything you like, it's yours for the taking. A token of our esteem for the mighty Captain Beto. <laughs> what has she done to these guys? That's right. Well, good. I'll take it all. I, but, uh, come on. <laughs> Be reasonable here. Shrimps, yeah. Me and the guys have been busting a gut gathering all this up. Y y you gotta leave us a little something, something, surely. Let me make this crystal clear. These things do not belong to you, and they never will. So you're gonna put them down, and then you're gonna get as far away from me as is physically possible. Are they shrimps, or do they fear for their life? Because right now, I kind of fear for my life. I'm not gonna lie, she's terrifying. Uh, that's a little, uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, Maybe she can leave some up? cough drops you for your throat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, call me out like that. Huh. Sounds a lot like you're stalling to me. Talk is cheap. Let's settle this the old fashioned way. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. We're just here beating up random pirate. <laughs> My water bottle is pretty full right now. Look at you, Boozeon. The boat's loaded in, in the water, boss. Come take a look. Captain Beto pulls no punches. Retreat! Retreat! If the boss is bailing, we'd better bail too. Wow, looks like they're out of here. We're, we're sorry we offended you, Captain Beto. Give us some time. We'll find a way to make it right. I promise. 
she inspires fear on all these guys. Oh my god. Boy, they sure ran off quickly. <sighs> she just terrifies every treasure hoarder. Oh my god. I want the big no. Can I have your presence, please? Beido, can I have your presence, please? I want I want your energy. Pirates don't fear me anymore. I've seen too much One Piece. Uh, who cares? They didn't take anything with them. Lumina, that cutscene's still still covered in Electro Shield. The problem here is there's no way all of this is going to fit onto your boat. <sighs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Unload the boat and put everything here in one place. Based on the original plan, Sea Drake's boat should be coming past here at some point. When they get here, we'll hitch a ride with them. In okay. the meantime, Traveler, head back to the Jade Chamber and deliver a message to Ningguang for me. Okay. Just tell her we're almost done fishing for trinkets here, so she should start getting my compensation ready. Ah, you want her to uh, get the date going, eh? Get a good, nice restaurant reservation for you two, huh? All right. Thanks, Traveler. If both Carmen and Leo Leo were here, then I wonder if that other boss of theirs, Big Sis, is snooping around. Oh. I've got to tell C Drake and the rest of the crew to stay on high alert. Well, here's the thing, right? Beidou and Ningguang are heavily shipped together. Um, I ship them, like, no tomorrow, personally. They, uh, Ningguang is, like, this whole, like, big high and mighty kind of individual she's the one who makes all the money and all that stuff and Beto's a pirate so they're kind of like big foils to one another so it's kind of like the opposites attract kind of thing you have the righteous lawful businesswoman uh who is a kind individual and a very loving person and then you also have this really loving pirate rascal of a person that's always breaking the law and stuff and <laughs> it's like Beidou Beidou and Ningguang have a lot of business transactions where, where uh, Ningguang will pay Beidou a lot of money but Beidou will also break so many fines and so many laws that she has to pay back a lot of that money but everyone just ships the heck out of them and I do too so um when Ningguang said, oh, yes, I pay her with money and I compensate her in other ways. It's more complicated. I'm just kind of like, yeah, yeah, they dating. They dating 100%. I know what you're doing here, Mihoyo. You're giving fans exactly what they want. <laughs> Ooh, calligraphy works. Nice. I'm just saying. Welcome back. I trust Beto is making good progress on salvaging the items. I wonder if this big Treasure sis character will I be see. a future character that we'll be able to pull yes, for because I can imagine that must have been rather irksome. Some of these characters have like unique character designs, like Carmen and Le Lilu did. Now, I'm wondering if they're going to introduce another character, like, you could actually like, recruit a treasure hoarder. Because we can re recruit someone from Shizunaya. Maybe we could recruit a, tre recruit a treasure hoarder. That'd be pretty cool. It sounds like you scared them off on this occasion. But it won't end there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> through. You needn't concern yourself with them any further, though. Leave them to Beto. She is well-versed in handling treasure hoarders. I will be sure to make preparations for her compensation. Why can't I be the treasure hoarder? I also owe you my thanks for coming all this way to deliver Beidou's message. Here, please take this as a token of my appreciation. Now, please excuse me. I have other business that demands my attention. I wish you a fun-filled festival. All right. Sorry. Oh, is Ning Guang here too? Send Let's go. Send this report to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have them delegate each of the tasks on the list to the appropriate departments. Also, be sure to tell them that though the lantern rite may be complicated, everything must be done properly. Okay. Hello, Lady Ning Guang. It's us again. No, of course not. You are my honored guests. And given the looks of you two, I presume that you're here to celebrate the Lantern, right? That's right! So what's on the agenda for the festival this year? 
As always, there will be a variety of activities taking place. Oh, but there is one of particular interest. Ooh. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is planning a fireworks show this year. Let's go get Yoi Mia. She knows what to do. Time. She knows what to do. Releasing Ming Shao lanterns has always been at the heart of the lantern rite. But with all that has occurred in Liyue as of late, I think the people of the city need something to warm their hearts. A feeling of everyone coming together in solidarity. So, I believe that this year calls for a celebration of particular magnificence. Something that would be closer to the hearts of every citizen. She really does think about Li Wei a lot. We are and in does the really well, honestly. Fireworks at various locations all throughout Li Yue. We shall choose a timely moment during the festival to set off all the fireworks in unison, allowing the sparkling lights and excitement to resonate with the hearts of the people. Fireworks? But we've already seen fireworks in other places before. First, you season oh, your pyman with whatever seasonings you want. To keep it simple, I'm just going to be using salt and pepper. After that, get a pan and coat it with a neutral tasting oil, then sear your pyman five minutes on each side. Once that is done, Place your pie onto a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Fantastic. Thank you. Fireworks were originally developed alongside many other inventions here in Liyue. Oh, really? When our ancestors first created fireworks, they were originally known as firecrackers. Their bright flashes and loud sounds were often used for warding off beasts or as warning signals to other people. That that actually makes a lot of sense. In those days, it was difficult for people to contact one another while out farming the land, so they would carry firecrackers with them to give signals when necessary. But people's lifestyles began to change after Leo Harbor was founded. They no longer had to travel out of town to tend the fields anymore, so the use of firecrackers for emergencies also began to dwindle. But through our local customs, the pioneering spirit of the firecrackers has been passed down to this very day. We made improvements to firecrackers and began setting them off during the lantern rite to commemorate the tenacious spirit of our ancestors. Wow! Everything has so much history in Liyue! As I'm sure you already know, everything on this land accumulates history and value as time passes. That is the nature of Liyue. I've left Kuching in charge of the fireworks show. If you're interested, why don't we pay her a visit together? I really like that. <clears throat> I really like that a lot. Because I, I, I'm a sucker for like cultural historical things, right? I love it. It's great. I was, I was talking to AJ about it recently, just like cultural stuff and participating in culture and keeping 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 kind of like people in times alive that are no longer alive through your culture i love this about leeway we need to add a few more locations for launching fireworks the show has to be visible all across liyue not just in the city they celebrate lantern right in chingsa village too you know <laughs> but lady kuching what about our budget? The budget is exactly what it's meant to be. It's the necessary amount of funds to properly carry out a task. <laughs> if the budget will not suffice, then we'll simply have to apply for more funding from the Ministry of Civil Affairs and wait for their approval. Our aim is to organize a memorable lantern rite. The budget is there just to facilitate planning. We mustn't lose sight of our goal. Yes, Lady Kuching. I understand. Dang. And please remember, safety first. She's got she's got it on lockdown. Oh, it's Ningguang and the Traveler. Good to see you. Are you here for the lantern right? Your timing couldn't be any better. The preparations are almost complete. I'm reviewing the positioning of the fireworks and double checking the relevant facilities. It's all in a day's work. After that, Forgive get a half a stick of better some garlic and mistaken, some rosemary and you baste your pyman for two minutes on each side. After that, let your You've pyman rest for ten minutes and enjoy. Days. I am sure a break would not be amiss. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's fine. Really, I can handle it. Pungi, 
Please redraft our plans, make a summary report, and send it to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm going into town to check the progress of the fireworks setup. I'll return shortly. As for you, Traveler, you're our esteemed guest. Please take the opportunity to stay in Liyue Harbor and enjoy the festivities. Peng Yi, is everything clear? Please remember the tasks I've given you. Yes, Lady Kuching. Don't worry. Good. Ningguang, Traveler, goodbye for now. Please, excuse me, Lady Ningguang. And, uh, Traveler, I must get going. Lady Kuching told me a great deal of information, and I have to write up the plans from scratch again, <laughs> so time is of the essence. Yeah, a lot of work to do, eh? One moment. I almost forgot. Here, Traveler. This is a launch tube. Lady Kuching said you may be interested, so she had me keep one to give to you. Someone with good handicraft skills should be able to use this to design their very own fireworks. You should try it when you have the chance. Don't we have the recipe from Yoimiya? We could design a re we could design that based around Yoimiya's recipe. That could be really cool, actually. Paimon couldn't get a single word in just now. Emily. Uh, <laughs> well, more like Paimon didn't dare open her mouth while they were talking. But still, did you notice it too? Lady Kuching is a lot more outspoken than she used to be. And she seems a whole lot busier, too. Wonder why? Y'all kicked the gods out of out of leeway. She's going to be busier. Ever since the Adepti left Leo Harbor in the hands of mortals, we Chi Sing have taken up the responsibility of leading the people. Yeah, exactly. We have taken charge of many vital tasks in various sectors, and we are responsible for planning and organizing all sorts of affairs. Mm-hmm. That said, being in charge of everything inevitably takes its toll. It's exhausting at times. Jiang Zhou was responsible for planning the Lantern Rite in former years, but her father is getting quite old now, so she transferred to another department this year. Huh. In the end, the Lantern Rite planning was left to Kuching and myself. I am the head organizer, while Kuching is responsible for the highly anticipated fireworks show. Such an important event should be entrusted to the most qualified candidate. Kuching is disciplined, yet passionate about her work, so she's naturally the best fit for the job. She's definitely disciplined! No doubt about that! <laughs> Absolutely. She is strict with both herself and others, to the point that she can even become overly involved at times. She's worked several days without a break now. Oh, that's not good. I'm concerned about the effects it may have in the long run. Finding balance is an essential concept in Liyue culture. Oh, really? Okay. I've tried talking to her, but you know how she is. She uses her wit to talk circles around anyone. Dang, all right, that's high Traveler, praise from you. You are quite close to Kuching. Why don't you try talking to her? Maybe she'd listen to someone as experienced as you. I love that Traveler just immediately copies Beido, uh, uh, a Ningguang's thing, like... Exclamation mark lurk. <laughs> we'll see you soon, KSG. Enjoy the lurk, right, my dude? But she just, she just, knows, she just immediately does exactly what Ningguang does. Thank you, Traveler. I am glad you are able to help. Kuching can be a tough nut to crack sometimes. I still have other business to attend to at the Jade Chamber. I'll leave Kuching in your capable hands. King Wong, please. Uh, are you sure you can really persuade Kuching to take a break? Even Ning, besides, before you can persuade someone, you have to at least understand how they feel at the moment. Kuching has been working non stop without a. <coughs> Duh! Come on, everyone knows that. Think harder. How does she feel deep, deep down inside? Uh. Or. Maybe <gasps> we can ask a friend. You know, someone more knowledgeable about these things. Let's go see Zhong Li, baby. Huh? Geo Daddy, let's go. Oh, there's no arguing that. Zhong Li is dead. Let's go see Geo Daddy. Let's go. Everyone thinks he's still a consultant at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Let's go see if he's there. How may I help you? 
Ah, uh, yes. Well, I'm afraid he is currently out with the director. Out with the director? Oh, you mean for work? The director said that they were going for a walk. If you'd prefer, you could go look for them at third round knockout. I've heard the director often goes there to do, uh, promotion. <laughs> he died. We have a coffin for you. Hey, Chang Ling! Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, I am so full. Not another bite. La, la, la. Hats off to you, Shang Ling. Serving the grilled fish with a dipping sauce is quite an innovative approach. The flavor is just to die for. <laughs> Man, that's my signature dipping sauce. I knew it would taste great. Hmm. Tempered Jueyun chili powder mixed with garlic paste and chopped scallions. Then seasoned with salt, vinegar, and soy sauce mm. before finally sizzling in hot oil. Mmm, God, I'm hungry. This recipe may seem a bit crude, but is entirely hinged on the precise balancing of flavors and seasonings by the chef. Everything must be balanced just right. You must have order, right? It is the consummate mastery of this balance that turns a humble dish into an exquisite one. Oh, that's quite the compliment, don't you think? <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you, Mr. Zhongli. Listen to that beautiful I voice. I have a way with words, but you certainly take the prize, Mr. Zhongli. Listen, listen to Zhongli's voice. It's so beautiful. You are too kind, director. Your eloquence is uh, um, infamous <laughs> in Liu Harbor. Oh, what's that? Oh, would you like to order something, Guoba? Oh, please, by all means, it's my treat. I'll just open a tab under Xiangling. <laughs> hey, are you guys talking about tasty food again? Oh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. What Aww. brings you to this side of town? Hold on, let me take a wild guess. Hmm, yes. Oh, you must be here for the lantern, right? Uh, isn't it pretty obvious? <laughs> Anybody could have guessed that. Oh yeah, come on. Can't you take a joke? You came at the perfect time. I was just letting everyone try my latest dish. Ooh. The owner of Third Round Knockout says it's, it, well, a real knockout. Mr. Zhongli and Hu Tao seem to like it too, but I think it never hurts to let more people do a taste test. How I'm really hungry you? now. Would you like to have a taste? twice or once even huh? you mean we're not gonna try any oh fine let's get down to business we meet again traveler i trust your journey is going well splendid therein lies the value of a journey so come on why are you looking for our good consultant? Do enlighten us. All right. And just in case you were wondering, we're on business too. We only tried Xiangling's dish since we just happened to be here. Oh, God. Business? What kind of business would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor possibly have during a festival? I mean... Even during the most joyous of holidays, life still follows its natural course, does it not? Is that really so surprising? <laughs> but there isn't a need to be alarmed. It's just a nice day today, and I thought we could go for a walk while doing a little promotion for our business. I legitimately love Hu Tao's approach to death. It is so funny, unnerving, and really simple, and I love it. Because you're just like, listen, we're having a great time. You're going to die eventually, though. Like, and you might die while you're having a good time. It's okay. I'm here to make sure when you die, I bury you with making a lot of money on the side. <laughs> and her, her, her whole story arc is like, you have to go to the afterlife of her, which is kind of wild, and I thought it was really good. So, I, I like Hu Tao, I like her approach to death. It's, it's so unnerving, but it is so good. 
Oh, you can go ahead and chat away. Xiangling and I will go have some tea with the boss over there. Oh, Xiongli, please come get me when you're through here. Of course. I'll see you later, Director. Now then, Traveler, what brings you to see me today? Hmm, yes. The Yuhang is honest, intelligent, and most diligent. She is capable of shouldering responsibilities that few others could. But everything has a balance, and one's health must certainly weigh in. Oh, his voice is so beautiful. Yeah, everyone knows you're super knowledgeable. Paimon bets she would listen to someone like you. If I were still the mighty Rex Lapis, I might be able to help her see reason. <laughs> but alas, I'm now nobody but an ordinary consultant. Sure you're not. My words no longer carry the same weight as they once did. Besides, I am by no means close to the Yuhang. Taking the liberty to lecture her may just as easily produce the opposite of the desired effect. Oh, you're right. Uh, then what should we do? We could take a more subtle, indirect approach to the matter. Such as telling a story that resonates with her, containing your message conveyed within it. Such a story can be achieved by referencing topics from her daily life. The story could prove even more effective if you weave in something about someone close to her. Hmm. Um... Hyman doesn't really get it. I knew you'd understand what to do. <laughs> well done, Traveler. Go collect some source materials for your story. Of course, I can always provide you with my advice. Look at that eye shadow. Once we have formulated the plot, you can tell the story to the Yuhang. You are on amiable terms with the Yuhang. I always pronounce it amiable. The natural candidate. Oh, Paimon gets it. So we need to talk with people who know Kuching, right? Hmm. So who should we start with? Greetings, everyone. Uh, I hope I'm not intruding. Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching! <laughs> well, there she is. Let's do it. Mr. Zhongli, I didn't expect to see you here. Thank you for all your assistance during the rite of parting. You are most welcome, Yu Hung. It was the least I could do. Hmm? Why? And what's with your strange expression? <laughs> she, we're just like, <laughs> and it's just <laughs> so funny. Oh, I see. My apologies. I appear to have interrupted your conversation. Kuching, are you here looking for us? Yes. I was going to ask you to introduce me to the adepti. I thought that it would be fitting to send them some festive gifts on behalf of the Liyue Qixing. Oh. We were fighting to defend Liu at Harbor together? You could just as easily go and find them in Julian Car. Yes, but we only met briefly on that single occasion. The Adepti may have already forgotten about me. And I'm concerned it would be imprudent to show up so suddenly. Which is why I thought it would be more appropriate to ask you to introduce me first. Yeah, let's so go. You didn't have to run around delivering gifts in person. <sighs> <laughs> it sure doesn't seem easy to be a chasing. Thank you, Traveler. Let me go and prepare the gifts. I'm sorry to make you run errands with me during our big festival. I promise to make this quick, and I'll be sure to get you back in time to enjoy the fireworks show. Huh? T together? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll go to see the fireworks with you once I've finished my work. Speaking of which, Mr. Zhongli, the fireworks show will be particularly exciting this year. Please, don't miss it. Ah, yes. Thank you for your kind reminder. I should be going now. Traveler, please come find me at the Jade Chamber once you're ready. And there she goes! <laughs> That's the Yu Hung. Efficient and reliable as ever. You're really reliable too! <laughs> Why, thank you, Paimon. Please, don't forget our earlier conversation. 
Once you've collected enough story material, we can meet here again and discuss things further. Oh. Last we left off, when I was playing off stream, Catching and I had learned that there were some bandits that were stealing fireworks from the northern village in Leeway. And we were kind of tracking them down a bit and ended up uh, getting Ching Cho to help, getting Chong Yun to help. We ended up saying hi to Zhao, giving him gifts because we we're giving gifts to, to the Adepti, including Madame Ping and um, Yan Fei, which is really cool to see them. Uh, I done that in private. My apologies, but I'll put everything I streamed on YouTube and stuff if you want to see that as well. It was it was really nice. I really like seeing all those characters again. They're all great characters. I love seeing the actual playable characters in the story as well. That's always exciting for me personally. Um, I'm hoping we'll get some more Beidou scenes here now <laughs> because Beidou kicked ass last time. Uh, we're ready to see more, but like yeah, we're we're still hanging out catching, and the whole thing is basically like catching's working her ass off. Like no tomorrow and she really needs to chill take a breather and relax so i'm excited to see where this goes hey there we go rest assured all is quiet here in chinksa village chong yun is guarding the outside and i'm guarding the inside not a problem in sight good i've made some progress in my investigation as well oh what are you planning is it time to strike Perfect timing, count me in. Let's go! <laughs> we're just like, yeah, let's just fight. Paimon, you are just in time. I looked everywhere and I found some clues regarding the treasure hoarders. Besides wagon tracks, I also came across bits and pieces of fireworks packaging scattered on the road. Following those clues, I was able to finally locate the missing fireworks. But there was no sign of hmm. treasure hoarders. <coughs> no, I think they might be just overly careless. I seem to have found the location where they've been stashing all their stolen goods. They must have thought it was well hidden and deemed it unnecessary to post any guards. The amount of fireworks they've amassed Never there is astonishing. That. Not only did they steal the ones in Chingsa Village, but also from other locations too. They've gathered all the stolen goods there. I've asked the Mililith on guard at Chingsa Village to report this to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They will organize a search around that warehouse. Now that the Millerith is involved, you don't need to handle this yourself anymore! Hey, Vanny. Welcome on in. Yeah, no, that's valid. Uh, I got off work early today due to my health, but, uh... I love Genshin. It's just a meme, basically. The treasure hey, today, hoarders Vanny. are notoriously pleasure to meet cunning, you. and they may even have lookouts. If they notice anything suspicious, they will move the fireworks and our single lead will be lost. I have to keep an... Uh... You're not really thinking that you can take all of them yourself, are you? No, I am not that reckless. I just want to investigate the case thoroughly. But now that I have your help, the idea is feasible. <laughs> so you really are considering it? Okay, then there's no time to lose. Let's go. It's literally just, hey, main character's here. We can beat the shit out of anyone. <laughs> That's the entire. That's this. Uh, that's this entire amazing plan. Hey, Jingchu. Though they are merely a group of irksome bat. Oh, it's not even voiced. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. There's, there's a few groups to be afraid of. There's a few groups to be afraid of. I will say that. Please hide um, yourselves. <laughs> Let's wait and see what happens. I, 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 I am ready to see all y'all go absolutely hey insane. Boss, you think we have enough fireworks now? <laughs> Are you kidding? This ain't nowhere near enough. Uh, but boss, <laughs> if we want more fireworks, we're gonna have to steal them in the city. Ain't gonna be easy. Hmm. You got a point. All right. Then we steal those things that make a real loud bang, but don't light up real pretty. What do they call them? Ah, yeah, firecrackers. Those will do the job. All we need to do is make some real ruckus. As long as we distract the Millilith, the other hoarders can do their end of the job. You get it? Got it, boss. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. We're gonna hit the jackpot this time. But, uh, boss, 
All our boys are out scouting around. Don't you think we need a few more to guard the stash? <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. The Millilith are swamped with lantern right. They won't have time to come out here. All right, move it, boys. Just a few more batches and we'll be... Uh-oh. Hey, boss, we got trouble. Huh? What happened? The jig is up, boss. The, the Millilith are coming, and it seems they've already caught our scouts. Oh, no. I love if one of the boys <laughs> hadn't set up a firework to warn us, we would have been completely blindsided. Boss, let's run. But how did the Millilith find out about us? And so quickly, too. Ah, fine. Leave the fireworks and let's split. They won't be catching us. It's time to make our move. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Paimon, you do nothing. Stop looking. Try, stop trying to look cool. Drop your weapons and surrender immediately. Ha! Get out of my way. You got a death witch or oh, something? Oh, I get to play I'll as catching today. You. Nice. All right. Huh? Wait a second. You're oh, wrong really person. You. Yeah, so I have no doubt. All, like, honestly, I've seen everyone see participate a little bit in some previous Drop tournaments, and just in general for Splatoon playing now. on Sundays. Who would have Everyone's absolutely the the wild. Way out here. I'm excited to see it all because, all right, like, horrors. I don't Looks know like who's gonna win. I'll be honest. We'll show you. Get him. Eyes on me. Back off. <laughs> Nice and easy. There we go. <laughs> Took these guys down. All right, so you want to do this the hard way. We we surrender, you hung. Now, I want some answers. What were you planning to do with the stockpile of fireworks? You know what? You know what I think the answer is going to be? As silly it is, I, I, I feel like the answer is going to be we, we wanted to have a big party. We, we just... Tell the truth, and I might go easy on you. They wanted a big party, I'm guaranteeing you. We... Uh... Fine. We were gonna smuggle these fireworks into the city and ignite them during the Lantern Rite's opening ceremony. Oh? The fireworks are really bright and loud and would definitely raise some havoc. We were gonna rob the city while everyone's distracted by the explosion. <laughs> Smart. But, uh, we didn't seem to have enough fireworks, so... Oh? So you mean you had more than one group of thieves stealing fireworks? Yeah, that's right. Originally, I had all the hoarders out stealing fireworks, but then one of them got caught by the Feiyun Commerce Guild and was arrested. <laughs> I really didn't get it. Why did the Feiyun Commerce Guild get involved? We were only stealing from the government. <laughs> no, uh, what I meant is, uh, well, I was worried that the guy who got arrested would rat us out. <laughs> who would have guessed we'd end up running into you like that? Hey, dear the Millilith were coming yeah that's right i wonder how the Millilith even found they somehow captured almost all of them if someone hadn't alerted us we well you did get caught well uh <laughs> yeah it appears that the Millilith managed to get the captured treasure hoarder to talk there may still be other treasure hoarders in the area traveler please escort i'll be there once i am finished inspecting this place yes cool beans yeah. <sighs> this is the last batch of fireworks that I can get. Please ensure that there will be no further problems. Don't worry. The Yu Hong will be taking care of this personally. And with us on guard, I assure you it'll be safe. Yes, indeed. Oh, it appears the traveler Chung has returned. Yu, let's go! And with two others, no doubt. He's like one how the thieves were caught to beat him up. It's definitely dangerous to infiltrate an enemy area like that. If only I was there to fight alongside you. Come now. We both know the Traveler is most capable. <laughs> but who would have known we performed such a noble deed? We had arrested the treasure hoarder earlier by mere happenstance. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. It seems that justice always finds its way into the world. Look, it is in hey, GQ. that miracles are born. So it was you. You horrible brutes are the ones who stole the fireworks. Just the sight of you two makes my blood boil. Please calm down. I doubt they'll be causing any more trouble now that they're in custody. Thank you very much, Tra- Lady Kuching was worried there'd be more treasure orders lurking. Oh, I see. 
Yes, Lady Kuching is quite thorough. A squad of Millilith came by just now. I believe they were sent by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I also heard that most of the fleeing treasure hoarders have already been apprehended. Anyway, you may leave these treasure hoarders to us. <laughs> and thus, our chapter has finally reached its timely conclusion. I am partial to fireworks myself. Huh? Why the hurry to get back to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Inevitably, affairs do become busier around festive seasons. But no need to worry. What is this kind of like to jacket? Us. This is so and weirdly designed. I love too. it. It's great. Huh? You mean you're assigning more work to me? Tis only my duty as your dearest friend. Work before play, as they say. I'm sure you understand. Oh, all right. I suppose. As the saying goes, many hands make light work. As long as work oh, is assigned to the right people, everything will proceed without a hitch. If you ask me, I think speaking eloquently is just a guise for assigning work to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I shall treat you to a meal after the work is done. Oh, hell yeah. College Farewell, rules. Let's go. Blob is funny. I have mad respect for Tent Umbrella way, players. Yeah, you know Tent Umbrella is rough, back, but I enjoy Traveler? it quite a bit. It's, it's a lot of timing on it, obviously, and making sure that you can hit at the right moment, right time, and keep your barrel open as long as possible. And, of course, the mobile fortress aspect of it is my favorite part of it. I actually wish... I'm not going to lie. I, I wish the tent umbrella stayed on the actual, uh, the actual weapon longer, and you were able to walk with the tent umbrella, just be like a, like a, like a personal mobile defense you know, thing. That would be really fun. Yes, I do have the perfect way of piloting. You're right, future. How are you doing? There are not many fireworks in the second batch that I brought, so I'm worried that we can't achieve the show's desired effect. No, nah, you're good. You're good. We could somehow retrieve the stolen fireworks. Do not fret, friend. Oh, fireworks! Hey, did you hear that explosion? Maybe it oh. was fireworks. Not, not good. Oh, no. Not good fireworks. Maybe okay. Tent fell off. Yeah, it did. Ooh. Oops. What did I do? Hey, coaching. Well, this is gonna be the, this is like basically the ending of the event. Um, if you want to watch it, feel free to stay here, hang out with us. It's it's good. I I heard there's some good Ningguang Beidou content. I'm very excited. Uh, uh huh. What treasure hoarders? Was Tentabella ever on the meta? Might be treasure hoarders sending signals to one another again. Ah, uh, I see. Sorry, that's not the case. I saw a few sticks of fireworks on the ground, so I fiddled with them and. <laughs> sure enough, it seems I accidentally lit the fuse. Before I could react, the fireworks were. <laughs> Already up in the air. So no enemies? Whew. Well, that's good. We thought you might have been surrounded by bad guys. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't mean to alarm you. Fortunately, there are no more treasure hoarders in the area. It seems this matter has finally come to an end. Great! The case of the stolen fireworks is finally solved. Good thing we were able to get to the bottom of it. Otherwise, those beautiful fireworks would have gone to waste, and the whole show would be ruined. By the way, Kuching, uh -oh. you're the oh. one in charge of the fireworks show, which means you know the best viewing spot, right? Yes, of course. The best view should be from the Jade Chamber. Let's go! I haven't forgotten my promise. But first, I have to drop by the Ministry of Civil Affairs and close this case. Leave the rest of this to me. You've already been a great help. Why don't you go for a walk around the city and I'll meet you when I'm done? Okay, but we'll be waiting. Yes, I'll be there. Aww. <sighs> Holding this workaholic accountable. You when I am done. How many times have we heard that already? <laughs> I think it's why Lady Ningguang is so worried about Kuching. Is she? Oh, yeah. Yes, Zhang Li, let's go. Let me up there. Let's hear your voice, hey, Zhang Li. <gasps> ah, Yu Chen. Yo, let's go. Yes, you are quite right. I shall take your wise words to heart, sir. 
They will certainly be most helpful in my next performance. You are welcome, Miss Yun. Your willingness to hear suggestions is indeed impressive. It's no wonder your opera performance has only been getting better. That's like such a backward, backhanded compliment. Like, ah, yes, your willingness to listen to me is getting your opera better. God damn. No, I'm afraid that's not always the case. Though I am still See you around, Vanny. I hope to see you soon. We are going to be streaming RCS later, so if you want to join on that, feel free to join in for that. But your wisdom has spoken to me. Shenmi! We're back! Ah, you've returned. Hmm? You are also acquaintances? Yes, we sure are! Not everyone gets the privilege of meeting someone so knowledgeable and discreet as Mr. Zhang Li. You are indeed well-connected, Traveler. I am flattered, Miss Yun. It is an honor for an ordinary person like myself to <laughs> An ordinary, not-god person. Wow. Did he really just say that? I'm sure you must have matters to discuss. I have an appointment with Xinyan, so if you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. Me, ordinary. Very well. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Yun. Shang is like, hello, my fellow teenagers. <laughs> See you around, Yun Jin. So, tell me, what have you learned from your trip? Hmm, I see. Well, traveler, what do you make of all their opinions? Yeah, Paimon already started creating her own story on the way here. Oh no! How much damage did you take? Who died? With just a simple story, right? If that's the case, then Paimon thinks we can use food as our theme. You use food for everything, Paimon. Think about it. Who doesn't like delicious food? And when it comes to eating, everyone has an opinion. It's the perfect angle for our story. Classic Paimon wisdom. <laughs> knows just what to write. Let's say there's a chef in Lua who's very talented at cooking. Zhang Ling, all right. He opens a massive restaurant in Liyue Harbor and lots of customers come every day. So he's always super busy. So Mao. Then, uh, well, uh, uh, how should the story go Oh, what game are you playing, Future? Ooh, that's good. Wait, didn't we say he's really good at cooking? That wouldn't make sense. There's no need to jump to the conclusion. Why don't you elaborate more on the chef? More about the chef? You mean both good and bad things? Yes. To gain one's empathy, there must be familiarity. I would like to understand this chef character of ours a little deeper. No, <laughs> why do I have to take it? Why don't you take it from here? Love the lag? I mean... Wait, what? Since you've spoken with others familiar with Kuching, why don't we integrate their thoughts into your story? That will allow it to become all the more convincing. Yeah, my stream should be fine, I don't know. I don't know, maybe you're on mobile, that's why okay. there's a lag. Let Paimon think. Hmm. What did Cloud Retainer say? As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. <laughs> that was quite poetic, Paimon. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Paimon remembers? Cloud Retainer said that if she spends all her efforts working on a machine with no time to test the outcome, then she'd be like a chef who doesn't get to try their own food. Um, Problems are that. bound to pop up. When, when you, when you cook, you definitely have to try your own food. I'm always trying my food when I'm cooking. Even if it's just small little things here and there, I'm always trying my food. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so what's the game you're playing, Future? Yes. It is most unwise to put the cart before the horse. Uh-huh. That's exactly what she said. So, let's make that happen to the chef in the story. Ooh. He's great at cooking, but he can't enjoy his own food. Why? Hmm. 
But there must be a reason why he doesn't partake in the delicacies he makes. Right! It's because he's super busy! He receives the customers, he takes the orders, and he does all the cooking himself. Jesus. <laughs> that should keep him busy enough. He's so busy every day that he doesn't even have oh, time valid, to valid, take valid. a break. Which obviously also means he doesn't have time to eat. She looks so depressed at the concept of not having time to eat. And I'm like, I get you. Hey, it's just a story. Besides, it's supposed to leave a powerful impression. Kind of like fireworks. Fair. Yes. The chef is unwilling to delegate tasks to others. He's overconfident about his Rest own cooking abilities computer. and tries to accomplish everything on his own. Paimon already kind of feels sorry for him. Many hands oh, don't work. Right. That's what the chef doesn't understand. You can put your charger in. Hopefully you'll save your computer, yeah? And there's another saying. Um, what was it again? Oh, yeah. A rested worker is an efficient worker. That's what Yamfei said. Yep. So the chef gets busier and busier to the point where he can't stand up straight anymore. And he has big, dark circles under his eyes. God, this is the hitting home. This is hitting home. It's hitting me. To get some rest, but the chef won't listen. This is hitting his me. His judgment is clouded by the chores before him. He is oblivious to mountains in the distance. The bigger picture. That is literally me. Eventually, the chef falls ill, and his cooking becomes far worse than when he started. The customers can't convince him to rest, and they don't like his cooking anymore. So they stop coming to his restaurant. Damn, all right. Makes rest sense. Rest is always of great importance. Although we may come across various difficulties in our lives, Pushing ourselves is never a good modus operandi. The story is quite simple, without embellishment, yet deeply meaningful. If our listener is sensible, then she should quickly grasp the meaning contained within. You're saying Paimon made a good story? Ugh. Sincerity can allow one to see clearly, and earnest advice can provide sound direction. The story is indeed good. The Yuhang is an adroit leader. I am certain she will understand the message you are trying to convey. Really? Score one for Paimon! That's the only score you've gotten so far, Given Paimon. Given that the case involving the treasure hoarders has come to an end, she is inevitably tired. Now will be the ideal moment to speak with her. If all goes well, I think your story will be a success. Hear that? Zhang Li says Paimon's story has what it takes. If anyone knows a good story, he does. Oh, well, welcome back on in the future. Quick, let's go find Kuching. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Zhang Li knows good stories, and they all start with Osmanthus wine tastes the same. But where are those who share the memories? <laughs> Wine. The I'll buy a has bottle. finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa Village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. <clears throat> okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. We're here to tell her to chill the f*** out. Kuching? Still working? Aren't we going to see the fireworks? Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? We walked around the city just like you told us to. It's very nice. Aww. But it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? <laughs> it's nothing urgent, really. Just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, 
The traveler is here to remind you to take a break. <laughs> That's right! Something so important. Oh, really? In that case, Jing Chung, I'll let you take charge. Oh, my collar's Thank not you. on right. Understood. Zun for I'll now. Hell yeah. from here. <sighs> traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is not. I am so excited. Let's up the catching. Oh, I, I did. Okay. This game is really random when it just puts you places and when it makes you travel places. Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news in Tevat. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liu? From Liu Li Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no, uh, the chef is from Mondstadt, yeah, and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious. So his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? <laughs> but the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top quality ingredients into world-class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Gasp! Hmm? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm. Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or... Eh! Wrong answer! You tell her, traveler! <laughs> Your Paimon's always Paimon is always serious about food. Like, I don't blame it. Cause like I love food too. Chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. Oof. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway, so they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. <laughs> Did that hit her hard? <laughs> Did that hit her hard? I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so, that's the whole story? Oh, um... That's the whole thing. Hey! Didn't you just say that Paima made a great story? <laughs> hmm? Did you come up with that story? Oh, uh, no. We just... <laughs> hmm. How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but when tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Yes, up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog, and feel our heart. Have you felt your heart? How do I feel? Hmm. I feel like you felt your heart. You got your hand here. Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. <coughs> that way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city. 
see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So, happy lantern right, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. Oh. I poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks and enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Aww. Happy Lantern Right. <laughs> Happy Lantern Right. And thank you. <laughs> Why are you freezing? No, it froze! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Lady Kuching, the item Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. Traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go <laughs> All anywhere. the lanterns in the background. Huh? Must be something important. There's all these lanterns in the background. They're gorgeous. Finale of this year's lantern right. The fireworks show. <sighs> Isn't it beautiful? Hey, check you out. Looking pretty <laughs> fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, let's go! Big Wong, baby, let's go! Dr. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Uh, lantern, right? <laughs> oh. 
Change to the class, American Taco. Happy Lantern, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy Lantern, right? <laughs> oh, I want my teared up a bit. Fuck. What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Really? I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last. So make the most of it. Oh, that was so <sighs> nice. Only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. <laughs>